when you're, ecologists are studying the populations, one of the most important things they look at is the number of people who are being born and the number of people who are dying in the population. Because from those two things, you can help them determine if the population is growing or shrinking. But then, if you remember the concept that we talked about about meta populations, that sometimes populations interact with other populations, you remember that it's possible for members of a population to go to a different population. So migrations are also important, both people coming in and out. So this picture is showing exactly what I'm talking about. Births will add people to the population and make the population larger, while deaths will reduce the number of population and make it smaller. So this side here is reducing the population and this side is increasing it. Likewise, immigration, which is M for in, will add people to the population, while emigration, which is E for exit, will add exit people from the population and reduce the numbers. So in order for a population to grow, this side has to be larger than this side. So as long as this, the, the left side is larger than the right side, the population numbers will grow. But if the left side is smaller than the right side, the population numbers will, sh will, will sh actually shrink. So if birth plus immigration is larger than death plus immigration, you, sh you should see the number of the population increase. But if birth plus immigration it is smaller than the number of death plus emigration you should see the population numbers decrease so the ecologists will look at both things they will look at death and birth rates and in the migration patterns that are occurring between populations in order to try to determine if the population is increasing or decreasing of course if the death rate and emigration rate exactly matches the birth and immigration rate then you are in a situation where the population is not growing or shrinking at all and we call that in ecology a zero population growth rate so you will see referred to it sometimes as zero pg zero population growth and i know it kind of doesn't make sense to call it po zero population growth if there's no growth but that's how we talk about it so basically zero population growth would be a situation where the birth and the immigration rate will actually match the death plus the emigration rate. So that population will stay stable. And a lot of populations around the world are exactly like that. They're not either declining or increasing, they stay stable. 